Hey guys, so this is your daily tarot. This is for this weekend, so it'll be for the um, Saturday the 5th and Sunday the 6th. So when you take what resonates and leave what doesn't, this is what we need to know. So this is the Nine of Swords and this pertains to anxiety and being in our mind. I feel like if you're watching this you might have already been suffering with some sort of anxiety or you might have been overthinking a situation um, and overthinking it to the point of like exhaustion and like a catastrophizing mindset worst case scenario and what I'm hearing from spirit is there is a need to get out of your mind and get into your body um, so whether you want to go for a walk or you want to do some yoga or you want to do some exercise or you want to play footy or whatever it is, do something that can alleviate your mind and bring you back into a state of peace. You might also be seeing 999 um, and I also see that a cycle, you may be in some sort of a cycle right now that you seem to keep repeating. This could be um, some sort of um, like a mental anxiety this could just be a pattern within your life that you're struggling to break now I do see you breaking it not necessarily this weekend for some of you, you might um, but what you need to remember is everyone has cycles everyone has patterns and when we have the awareness to understand what our patterns and cycles are then we are able to break them but first you need to have the awareness of what the cycle is and why you keep repeating it then we have the Eight of Cups, which is also the Moon. So it says, we all have our best guides within us, if only we would listen. Um, flowers may be significant. You might wanna work with um, essential oils or batch flower, or maybe you just wanna go outside and look at the flowers and um, look for the good in things. But also this is about the answers are within you if you're looking outside of yourself for the answers the answers are always within um and you just need to trust that the moon also um represents our dreams illusions fantasies psychic abilities um the subconscious the shadow so which so what's going on in your psyche what is going in the it on in the subconscious that is making you fearful or anxious or you know highlighting your fears um pay attention to your dreams this weekend note down any key symbolism or themes that may creep up for you um yeah and i'm hearing for some of you if you have been suffering with like night terrors set an intention before you go to bed um you know, set a prayer or intention, call on a higher being, a higher power, an ancestor, a past loved one, a, a guide to protect you as you sleep. And I feel like this will help um, calm and quiet your mind and you'll probably start to notice your dreams will improve um, and you'll wake up feeling a lot more bad, uh, better and less agitated. Then we have the Emperor. So for me, this is about taking authority over your life, taking authority over your thoughts and what it is that you are thinking um, and what you keep thinking and what you keep manifesting into your life because of the um, energy that you are in and the thoughts that you are thinking. So have a look at the areas in your life this weekend that you wish to change. It could just be to do with your mentality and going within um, and focusing on the self. The moon may also be significant, which uh, we have a new moon on the 10th. 10 may be significant to you and also um, maybe you wanna do some sort of a ritual around the time of the moon to do with um, bringing back calm and peace to yourself and to your reality. I feel like this weekend is about you taking back your power over your own mind. Um, and also so here right so it's the nine of swords but here is the nine and here is the six so this to me represents perspective yeah because you can look at a six or nine and depending on what angle you're at denotes what you're going to see 
So say you have like a person here and a person here and there's a nine here. What that person is going to see is they're going to see a six and this person's going to see a nine. So every person's perspective is different. So what matters right now is your own perspective towards yourself and your life and how you can improve that. And then here, so we have the colours blue. So you might want to work with your throat chakra. You um, Maybe you need to speak up about something. Um, maybe you want to look into how you can be more vulnerable. If you have a fear of speaking up, Generally, it means you have a fear to be vulnerable and open up because you're scared people may push you away, you're scared you won't be accepted, or there's just some sort of subconscious patterning going on. Um, oh, I was watching something the other day. I think she's called Breen Brown. Um, and she speaks a lot about vulnerability and how we can open up and how to do it in a safe way. So maybe if you feel called to, you might want to look up some of her work to do with that. Um, and you know how to connect to yourself and your vulnerability but also working with any colours of blue um, painting with blue wearing blue crystals like aquamarine um, blue lace agates larimer however that's pronounced lapis lazuli all of that um, if you have any crystals yeah, and blueberries, maybe um, making some blueberry smoothies um, or just using some sort, some sort of blue um, colour I feel would really help you. Or just wearing blue um, if you have any blue items. I also do see here, so for me this is some sort of a mirroring um, or a reflection. Or maybe you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and kind of reflect on certain things. Or maybe you're going to look at your relationships with people and see how you mirror each other or um, how you reflect one another like how can you look at another and think oh I do that too or I don't like that but you know that's brave of you for acting in that way or doing that or whatnot or stuff like that I'm also hearing telepathy um, so you may receive messages this weekend from someone um, that you love I feel like um, maybe a higher being or someone you've not been in contact with and just pay attention to any loving um, things that you may hear it could come through music it could come through your own mind um, it could come through words or poetry or art um, or something like that um, also pay attention to what you see in the sky because here to me represents the clouds and the mind um, maybe you want to look up at the sky when you're on your way back from work or if you're not at work this weekend maybe just look up to the sky and look at the clouds and look at the formations that you can see um, and anything that you can depict from the clouds um, any kind of symbolism or whatnot and write that down note that down and look at it and think okay what does this mean to me also I've just seen 8 11 on the clock maybe you want to look up the angel number of that so we have reflection <gasps> oh my god <laughs> yeah so that basically covers what I've been saying um, see all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self <gasps> oh my god yeah okay so this is quite a big weekend for reflection for soul searching for meditating for going within maybe you want to look into shadow work if you feel called to um, yeah or maybe just going into a deep trance like state um, that's going to help your mind, that's going to help you feel more connected to yourself, you know, you are your own guide, the power is not without, the power is not away from you, you are the power, you hold the power within, so then we have freedom, follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow, so you are free, it's just maybe you don't feel it, because your mind um so when you reflect you're going to become aware of certain patterning within your own condition and within your own mind within your own paradigm to become self-aware to free yourself from that which binds um dancing may also be a good way to um, get you into that freedom energy i'm also hearing the horse symbolism um, maybe you want to work with the horse um, or you want to look up uh, the shamanic meaning of horse symbolism and uh, totem, what that means for you. 
Then we have your potential is endless. Yeah, guys, so no matter what you are going through right now or you may go through on this weekend or you may look at, just know that your potential is endless. You can do anything you set your mind to. Just set the intention and take action towards it because you are powerful beyond belief. You just need to realise that yourself and step into it. Step into who you are more meant to be and who you are born to be. I'm not going to say that's going to happen this weekend, it's a, you know, it takes a long time to actually step into your true authentic self, but you can do it, but these are the steps to take. You have to look within. Anyway, guys, um, if you found this helpful um, or it resonates in any way, shape or form, please let me know down in the comments section. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you did want a personal reading with me or you wish to leave a donation. Everything will be down in the description box. Um, and yeah, have a beautiful, lovely, blessed day, guys. Bye bye.